All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? I am back, and we are now on another journey. I just kind of officially completed the peptide journey where I was doing CJC 1295 and Ibamorelin for eight months. If you haven't already, if you're interested, hit subscribe, go back and watch all of those videos. I have moved on, uh, partially and thanks to the FDA getting a little bit nosy. Uh, I've moved on to low-dose Omnitrope, or HGH. Now, this is another new thing for me. Uh, that I am going to be learning sort of as I go forward. I'm not recommending anybody do HGH. I'm not recommending anybody do peptides. I'm actually not recommending anybody do anything. I rely on my doctor's knowledge and experience to guide me through these things. I'm just a dude that's learning and documenting his experience for you all. Always talk to your doctor before you do anything silly. So um, to say I was uh, nervous starting this is probably an understatement. I've actually already done... Uh, what, uh, what day is this? Two or three uh, dosings already. And um, if you remember back when I started cycle three of the peptides, on the first day of cycle three, I had a, a reaction that I had never had before. And the next day, I had an even worse reaction. That next day was actually the worst one that I had during the entire process. Actually, the only really allergic reaction I've ever had in my life, where as soon as I did it, my legs felt weird. I had an immediate rush and almost like a pressure here. My neck got tight. My heart rate zoomed, and this was within seconds. I mean, it was it was scary. And so I've kind of got that in the back of my mind going through this process with the HGH. Now, I know that's not the same thing, but, you know, it's still incorporating something into my body that's typically not in my body. And because I wasn't expecting that with the peptides either, I was nervous. And so once I got all the dosing and all that stuff figured out, I'll talk about that more in the next video when I ever actually show you what I got in the mail and kind of how I put it all together and everything. I had the dosing all set up. I knew what I was going to be taking. And whenever I did the pinning, um, it took probably 15 seconds. And I felt the beginnings of that same thing that I felt in cycle three with the peptides, which was I felt an immediate uh, a heart race start to happen. Um, sort of a, almost a pressure of some sort, just go, whoosh, but not nearly as intense as that one was with the peptides. Uh, the peptides one that lasted probably each time I'd have a reaction. It was usually like around an hour. This one was much milder and I'm not even sure I would call it a reaction because it might be normal. I'd be curious to see what people, you, you guys were so great with the peptides. I'd be curious to, to find out what you experience with your pinning with the HGH. I don't know if this is normal or not, but it, it subsided, frankly, it seemed like within probably five minutes, and I was feeling pretty much normal again. Nothing else, no itching, no anything related to that. Whenever I turned around and did it again the next night, similar thing where I noticed the uptick in the heart rate within probably 15 seconds, but a much milder sort of upper body, like, huh, you know, type of thing. Now, I also realized that could also partly be my nerves coming into play and that each time that I do it, I become a little bit more comfortable and less nervous about it. And maybe a lot of that stuff ends up going away or maybe it's just normal with um, this low-dose Omnitrope stuff. So uh, it'd be interesting to see how that goes forward. As long as it remains at the level it's at right now, uh, I am fine with this being what it is. I just don't want it to get any worse. So I'm going to kind of keep an eye on that and I'll let you guys know, obviously. But curious your experiences if you've got anything like that. Now, I registered, measured mine out. Actually, I did this with the help of ChatGPT to kind of help me do the math on this. But my initial dosing that my doctor had put me on was a 1.2 IU, which after doing some research, there's some studies that use that exact same measurement for essentially um, replacement for adults that uh, were under under producing and 1.2 would get them back to sort of that level. And that was the baseline. I, I had a conversation with my doctor after that and I just said, hey, I get this and, and it's probably a good place to start, but can I do like two UIs if I feel like uh, I need a little bit more out of this one because I'm a bigger guy, I'm 6'3", 255, hey -o, big boy. Uh, and so, you know, and plus what I'm trying to achieve is is beyond just replacement. And she said, yes, we can absolutely, two is going to be okay for this. If you want to do that, she said, it's going to, you're going to go through the product faster, which I'm okay with doing that, even though there's an economic impact there. But for this week, I actually just started with the 1.2. I just wanted to start low because I was concerned about some of the reactions and I'm super glad that I started there. Uh, I know that there are, uh, you know, some opinions online that you can achieve a lot with one. 
uh, 1.2, 1.5, but the predominant number a lot of people seem to talk about is two. I know there's threes and fours. I'm not interested in any of that. I'm not interested in doing it multiple times a day. For me, as a beginner into this, the 1.2 at first and then leading into the two is going to be totally perfect uh, for my comfort level. And then maybe I can expand into some of that other stuff later, but uh, it's a good place for me to start. So, um, you know, interesting beginning with a little bit of a reaction there. Again, I don't know if this is normal or not, but uh, the fact that it was less intense and the fact that they both subsided fairly quickly uh, made me a little bit more at ease with the whole process. So we're going to see what happens. I got very little uh, expectations for the first month on what's going to happen. Uh, I have increased my protein grams per day from 230. I'm shooting for just over 300 per day now just to kind of see what that does because I had so much frustration with losing muscle during the peptide process. Let's see if we can reinforce that a little bit during the HGH process. I'm not, you know, the peptides were different because with the peptides, I was like, well, let's see if these do anything because I just wasn't sure what they would do. I'm not feeling that way with the HGH. I know what HGH can do. I'm, I'm more interested probably in this case in doing more personally to make sure to get the most out of the HGH. With the peptides, I kind of wanted to see what they could do without me contributing too much. You know, if I was going to stay in a maintenance type of uh, lifestyle, were the peptides going to push me beyond that? Were they magical? Were they miracles like people had promoted them to be? HGH, I don't feel like that at all. People know what HGH is. I know what HGH is. So I'm trying to do a little bit more this time with the HGH to contribute and handshake with that. So, and of course, a lot of this stuff might change as we go on. This is the, my first week of doing this. I'm really excited for the process as long as it, as long as it goes okay. And uh, we'll kind of see what happens. So this is the beginning. I'll do weekly updates just as usual. So as just a regular guy, 46 years old, trying to constantly be better, bigger, stronger, leaner, uh, cuter, whatever, um, you know, this is my next experiment. So hit subscribe if you want to join along with this. Again, you can go back and watch all my other peptide videos. I did weekly updates of that stuff as well. All my in-body scans, et cetera, et cetera, therefore and whatnot. We'll see you in a couple days whenever I show you my video of what I received in the mail with this HGH, and I'll talk a little bit more about sort of my numbers whenever it comes to how I reconstituted certain things and all that. So we'll see you in a couple days. Peace out.